You're um, going to um, organize this exhibition of these journals, right? So I brought this, and I thought I'd leave it here for you. It's not exactly, we used to have the exact furniture, and I'm not sure why it's not here now. But So you just can pretend that this is a table that kids do activities on, and then there's actually two more tables with um, um, computer <coughs> uh, computers on, really just computer monitors. Um, they can't be moved, right? Mm -hmm. The computers, the computers um, they could be moved, but okay. I think it would be it would be hard to move them. So probably better not to move them. And so this is <laughs> not the actual couch, but there is a couch in there, and you don't have to keep the couch if you decide that you don't want the couch. Just say we don't want the couch. This is there. Um, it is a um, shelving unit that holds the journals. You can actually put the actual journals in there. Um, we've got a couple of them in there now. And it's mobile, so it could move. You don't have to have it where it is now, and it's sitting right up here. There's a kid's desk um, that is there for children's activities, which is completely movable. So if you don't want that in there, you could get rid of it. Now, Katie, the, um, did you guys ever meet Katie Barnett? She um, created this dot um, pattern for the um, gallery just to give it some kind of, you know, something going on on the walls. And there, um, the artwork can hang directly over it. It's just vinyl. And so you can hang right on it. You don't have to worry about covering one up, partially covering up one. I think it will all work very well. Um, so what I normally do, the first thing I do when I think about um, an exhibition is I, get, I think, what's the subject? So what are you guys, what, what are you going to put in this gallery? The journals. The journals, but I mean an exhibition of just the journals because right now the journals all fit in this. So now you've got this, the rest of this space. And this is, um, usually this is an inch to a foot, and I think it probably is. More, most of his models are an inch to a foot. So um, whenever you, if you wanted to make scale models of your things, just measure them and then do a scale to an inch to a foot. So that one inch equals a foot. So you can get the right proportion so you know how things will fit. But besides the journals? I think we're enlarging some of the pieces actually inside the journal to put up on the walls and throughout the thing. Okay, and what size do you think you're gonna do you know what size you think you're looking at now? I honestly could not tell you that. And you're gonna enlarge them as sort of posters?